yourself. Hello, my name is Alex Goulis, and this is my sister, Eleni Goulis, and we're talking about thalassemia today. Thalassemia is an autosomal recessive blood disorder. Thalassemia is a, an illness that's caused by the inability of red blood cells to produce hemoglobin. We went to the four-month checkup and John Patelis, a friend of ours from church, who knows about thalassemia, um, looked at Alex and said he's hemolyzing, which I didn't understand what that meant. Uh, it was a pretty devastating day and, and yeah, to speak of. It's a disease that affects children, like Alex. One, two, three. Take a deep breath for me. I think that um, I'm different by um, what I have to go through and how I deal with needles. We'll take the little cap off here. Needle. Treatments for thalassemia include chelation, an intravenous medication that must be worn 12 hours a day. And you'll see. It's okay. So I'll leave it there like that. Oh, where's my other gauze? Uh, it's, there's a maturity to him or a level that, um, that most kids that age don't, um, don't have or either don't possess. I don't think he, uh, he never acts different. You know, we've tried to make him uh, as normal as possible, uh, except for the fact that he has to go uh, once a month uh, to get his uh, therapy, and then at night he wears his medicine. And then pull it out the top, and then he won't even bother with it anymore, and that'll be the end of it. And clip it. And that stays on until tomorrow morning. Right before school, we pull it out. Patients with thalassemia must also receive blood transfusions every three weeks. Chronic transfusion means the receiver of a red blood cell transfusion generally once every three weeks to four uh, weeks in order to keep them from uh, trying to make red blood cells and keep their red blood count up. The reason you want to keep them from making red blood cells is because your body wants to try to make the red blood cells, it just can't. When I go to the doctor, I have to get a needle and I have it stays in my arm for about six hours. My blood transfusion now to me doesn't seem like such a big deal. My doctor day is not very scary. It has a few scary moments when the needle's going in. One, two, three. The easiest way to help kids like Alex is to give blood regularly. Sometimes we take for granted when we hear on the news that, or in the, reading the newspaper that there's a shortage of uh, blood supply out there and it's just, uh, it couldn't be, uh, couldn't be more important to all of us who are able to give, to give blood on a regular basis. It's easy for me to come in here once a month and transfuse a patient with uh, blood. But the real way that you need to understand this disease is think of your own child. So I think it's really important to uh, see someone else who realize, you realize how, how appreciative you should be. And um, it makes you realize that, you know, giving back like that is so, it makes you feel great. And um, you know you're giving life, literally, to someone else.